Has this ever happened to you? Probably never did because you're on, on this video, but let's imagine that it doesn't happen to you. And you get like um, 40 FPS, 50 FPS. This is a really extreme case of me being on, on a base plate, but let's imagine that this happens to you and you get like 60 FPS. Well, we are gonna do a little bit of trolling. And we are gonna we are gonna get more than that. By the end of this video, you are gonna get like five times the, the, the amount of FPS you currently get. So uh, let's begin um with the trolling. For the first thing, when you have like 50 tabs open and 50 programs open at the same time, um that can hog your performance. <laughs> So just just go ahead and just turn all of these off. Now I have to keep these on. Also, you can turn off um these apps because I mean why? When you have these apps open, so I should probably keep that. Um, why do you need all of these apps open when you when you can just do that? No, oh wait, that's another step. <laughs> why, do, why, do, why do you need so many tabs, man? Okay, now it's running much smoother. Um, you can, you guys cannot see that, but my computer is running so much smoother because my hertz changed and I have 165 hertz. I guess it was just flexing. Um, <laughs> so. Um, next up, uh, go over to your battery icon if you have one, if you don't, uh, power and power, yes, power plan. You, you can just do it the same thing. Um, you go here. Um, if you go over here, uh, I just show you two examples. Um, Maybe you have like a power plan that that says specifically that it is a power saver plan. So if you have if you don't have the, these plans, uh, they, they these are the comments you wanna run. They are gonna be in the description, of course. Um, uh, the one you want is this one, uh, because it's a high performance one. So um, if you click over here, you should have a lot more frames per second if you. Change from power server to high performance. Next time we are gonna be installing some tweaks. So this is going to be the main subject of this video. I showed this in the other video. Um, this is block strap. Um, you, this is open source. Uh, it's pretty good. I really like this app. It's actually pretty good. I have to uninstall it for this video. So, so you're gonna just go over here. It's gonna show this. Now, I want you to copy all my settings. I'm not gonna say why because this video will be too long. You might wanna know where your source are located because ping, and if you have higher ping, you are more laggy. So, you wanna enable this. Honestly, I don't like rich presence because I have my custom rich presence. So, disable this coming up. Um, keep this the same because some games will look weird. Um, Fast flags, uh, a thousand. This is basically just unlocking my FPS count. Um, keep this the same, or if you want a maximum frames per second, you wanna go here. But personally, I wanna go like this because I want my games to look old school. If we go over here, we can use this option to have uh, older textures, which is gonna give you like 0.5 first fps which is nothing essentially so you want to keep that off um if your pc supports vulcan um you want to click vulcan but if your graphics card doesn't support vulcan uh, i'd recommend going with opengl direct access directory is like uh the default and it's kind of like worse for my system but if it's if this is giving you less fps and go with direct 3d um 11 but I'll go with the Vulcan because my PC supports that. Um, this you want to keep it an automatic. Um, if now this is also a pretty good option. Uh, you want to click yes because you will have more ways to change the graphics later on. 
Um, if you go to pre-run, this is not really that important, but I, I personally like the flown one. Uh, you can. This is just like a loading style. Basically, when you open the Roblox, you will see like the white box, and it's just gonna say joining Roblox. I personally don't like that much. I like the flown one more. Um, we'll see that later on though. If we go over here, we have the install location. And you can go ahead and click install. Now it's going to tell you that the block shell will be pinned to the start menu and you can readjust it in the settings. So if you want to have like a different way to the different settings, you will you can just click block strap and you will have it. OK, so we will click install and we will, we will install it. Now you might need .NET. Um, you might need .NET, which is uh, basically just a Microsoft collection of apps well collection of different things that make millions of apps run including block straps so it's pretty useful to have them it's developed by microsoft so it's pretty good so now that we have block strap enabled um we can go over to additional tweaks now i said that this is worse than block strap and i still will say that it is worse than block strap but basically this is the this is basically more optimizations. Now, what I want you to do is just click on block strap menu and just enter, enter the block strap menu again and installation and browse. Wait, no, not here. I'm stupid. Uh, open mods folder. This thing. Yeah. So I want to click this. Um, now you'll have this. Now, what I want you to do is paste this here. Um, then. Uh, fix quality. Uh, I want you to copy this. Um, go over here. Fine. And if it's here, remove it. Um, then go to FFLAC, prefer Vulcan. I know this is not there, so... Yeah. So if it's not there, then just ignore it. Um, try next. This is the default one on here. Now the reason we are gonna do this is because we don't want like a duplicate thing because it's gonna destroy our Roblox. So we wanna take this and delete this and just put it somewhere here. Personally, I just do it like here. It's it's good enough. So I'm gonna save it, exit, and you you're good to go, buddy. And here we are in the game. Um, we see that we got like 300 FPS ish. Now we can on full screen and just make it a little bit smaller to get more frames. Um, personally, my screen is pretty big, so I will just put it like this and hopefully it gets more frames. And it doesn't, so it's kinda, kinda bad. Um, another thing, we can just put it like this and we still have like 200. Uh, but still make it like one. Personally, I'd put it at 3, because, well, 3 doesn't really lose as much frames as, like, this one for, well, 5. Personally, I do 3, um, and yeah, we get more frames. 